Now, if you're looking for a projector that's going to work not only in your home, but also outdoors and is really portable, we're talking about something that can fit in the palm of your hand, 4K and has over 3,000 lumens of brightness. Oh, by the way, and it has fantastic audio, then this is going to be a projector that you'll want to consider. Because today I want to take a look at the Dengbei Mars Pro. And this thing is small, it's bright, and it has big sound. Let's go ahead and check it out. Now the Mars Pro, despite its size, packs a lot of tech. We're talking an ADLP laser that we've seen in some larger units, and it's gonna give you a great image. We're talking about 13 feet from the wall is gonna give you 150 inch image. Up to 25 feet is gonna give you up to 300. So you're looking at 150 all the way up to 300 inches. That's a massive screen. Now, it also has a 3,200 lumens, HDR10+, does support 3D, and it has a 25,000 hour uh, life, the laser itself, which is gonna last you know, beyond the life of this product. Now, it does come with two HDMI ports, one of which is an eARC, which is really good for something this size, a USB-A, optical, and also has ethernet. Now, one of the things that we've been testing out is the gameplay, because it does have a game, uh, I would say an, a game function that allows you to play at 20 milliseconds. So that's the latency. So that's hitting the trigger and then you can expect a 20 milliseconds uh, kind of uh, response. Now in our experience, again, not for competitive gaming, but for casual gaming, if you're using your Nintendo Switch, your Xbox, your PlayStation 5, it worked fine. So we really like this projector. Uh, it also has auto keystoning and autofocus correction. Matter of fact, when you power up this projector, it automatically autofocuses itself just to make sure in case something was moved or anything like that. Now, in addition to that, you have Bluetooth and Wi-Fi. It has MEMC, which means it has this motion technology that if you're watching fast motion, fast action, that it is going to make sure that nothing, there's no stutter, there's no blurring, that you have the crisp and the best image you can. Now, one of the things that really set this product apart for me was the audio. I was really floored because we do have in our setup a surround sound system, and we have some larger projectors. And for this size, it has two 10-watt speakers. Don't, I would say, you have to hear this because when you think about 210 watts, you're like, wow, that's not really that much. But it is throaty, it is loud, and it is surround. It gives you great experience, and it also has Dolby Audio. All right, guys, so now let's go ahead and talk about the overall projector performance. And what you see here is a day and night shot, basically of the same uh, video that we've been testing in this room. And just to describe the room is I have around six to seven windows in the room left to the right and all the way around it, it's open and the lights are on. So you see what the image looks like with the lights on. Then you also see what the nighttime shot looks like. And you can see with the nighttime shots, the blacks are absolutely ink black. The whites, the colors are super vibrant. And you're gonna see throughout this video how the projector performs, especially in these dark settings. Now, keep in mind that this is a short throw projector. It's not an ultra short throw, meaning that it's just a few inches from the wall, but this is basically about 12 to 13 feet away from the wall, and it's projecting on a 123 inch screen. Now this is an elite screen that it's projecting on, and this projector is competing uh, on the right side with a lot of light. This is a really, really bright room. Matter of fact, it's so bright that even though we have can lighting, we don't turn on the lights because we just don't need it because of how much light that's coming in. But you could see that still the image is showing up, it's visible, uh, but obviously, once this gets darker, you're going to have that really, really dark ink black blacks, and the colors are just going to be so vibrant, and they're going to pop. Um, the other thing that I'll highlight is the audio, and you're going to hear that in a couple minutes. The audio quality on this, especially given the footprint, and this is an ultra-small projector, is is robust. It had It's a very throaty system. Uh, my wife, you know, Nilda was just like, what's playing right now and because the room was just filled with so much audio and that's despite the fact it being a 10 uh, two 10 watt speakers so great audio loud surround and then when you basically take this video quality that you see here it just is superb and you can see I really love the scene right here where you have the boats on the water and how colorful uh, the venue is uh, to the side so if you're looking for something that's ultra portable something that's going to fit literally in the palms of your hand and has great uh, audio quality and projects like this uh, this is a great projector now the projector is around 11 feet from the screen um, and this is giving us 123 inches it's an elite screen and it's doing a really nice job you can see how the colors here are really popping now you'll notice at the very top you have your settings you have your wi-fi you also have your preview for your uh, hdmi uh, ports 
and you can see that I have actually an Android TV running in that specific uh, HDMI port. Um, at the bottom, you have community, uh, you have casting capabilities, you have an autofocus and auto keystone. As soon as you turn on the projector, it's going to auto keystone or autofocus itself, which is really nice. In this case, it's an autofocus. Um, I like that a lot. And you can see that it's doing a really nice job to be in focus. And if I go into the settings area, we can see some of the configuration options that you have here. Uh, so first of all, you do have your network and internet connection, which we already have ours connected. You do have your focus here, and you can see that you can have this set up to auto focus, which is what, what I have it on. You also have a manual focus. And then as I was mentioning, as soon as I turn this on, it auto focuses. So it's gonna give me, again, the best autofocus experience possible. And then it's gonna also do real-time autofocus. Uh, you have keystone correction, and if we go in here for a second, um, again, it's going to fit to screen automatically if I turn that on. It also has screen zoom if I want to do it. It's going to avoid obstacles, which is also a really cool feature. And then it also then has real-time keystone correction, right? So again, it's always going to make sure that the image is flat using all its lasers. Now in the projector area, you have some more settings. You have some mounting options. So you do have the ability to have floor mount, ceiling mount, uh, floor mount mirror, and ceiling mount mirror. Uh, so again, a lot of flexibility when it comes to how you'd like to have the projector uh, placed for, for, again, for viewing. I'm going to remove that. Uh, it can serve also uh, its audio through a Bluetooth speaker, which is going to give you, again, more, more robust audio. But I have to say that this projector does a fantastic job with audio. We're going to play some music in a couple seconds. Um, it does fill a room. So if you're looking for a projector in a box type model, this is definitely it, right? So you're going to hear how it's going to sound in a couple seconds. Now, under picture, what you'll find here is uh, your picture modes. I kind of like saturated colors. So the neat thing right here is it's going to show you like uh, all the different options, right? So if I go with standard, you'll notice that the orange um, kind of a little bit became a little bit duller. If you do AI picture, right, you can go here. If you do vivid, um, it brings in a little bit more. Uh, saturation. You can go movie, gets a little bit darker. Game mode, um, again, it's, it looks a little bit it's very similar to movie. And then you have your custom setting. Uh, remember that this projector does have a low latency mode for gaming, so this is going to work well if you'd like to play games. Now, this projector also has MemC, and what this is going to do is it's going to help with the actual blur that may take place when you have, uh, you know, high motion. So, for example, if I turn on high here, uh, we don't really see anything that I can that I can actually point out for you. But what it's supposed to do is it's supposed to deliberately reduce kind of any of the blur or motion blur that comes with, um, you know, fast moving images. Now, you also have a 3D mode, so if you did have 3D content. Um, and you have the glasses, you'll be able to use that. Uh, brightness level, you can go in here and you can notice that we have several different brightness levels. You have automatic energy saving standard, you have highlight, and then you can customize. Now the last feature that you have in the picture section is going to be the eye care section. And this is because this is an ALDP laser. And so if you wanna make sure that people are not looking into the light, uh, cause it will um, harm them, what you can do is you can enable that. So if anybody gets too close to the projector, it will shut off. Now the sound area, you'll be able to find a couple things. I'm going to go into sound style. Right now I have it in standard. Uh, you can choose any of these different. It's going to highlight different areas uh, of the uh, audio playback. As I mentioned, the audio itself is pretty robust with this projector. We're going to switch to a binaural mic in a couple seconds where you'll be able to hear that. Here you have some outputs, right? It does have eARC, which I really like. And eARC is going to give you the best possible experience when it comes to audio. I love eARC. And for example, if you're watching um, any of the new content that, is, uh, that has Adobe Audio, you're going to be able to get the best audio experience when it comes to surround sound and then just immersive audio if you're using the eARC field, or in this case, the eARC uh, port. Now, you also have a digital audio output, right? And we have our set to PCM. Uh, we're good with that. You can bypass it or you can set that to auto. Now on the input side, you have um, input sources, the home page, default is the home page. You can change this. So for example, if I go into default, you can set it to HDMI one or two. If you do import source, you can do the same thing. Um, you can have uh, plug and play. So that means that as soon as something gets uh, plugged in, it wakes up 
And then over here you have your game mode and your game mode is going to give you that 20 millisecond low latency gaming experience. Now most of you may use this projector with a Amazon Fire Stick or let's say a Google TV, a Nvidia Shield. And what you can do is you can turn on HDMI control CC, which means that if you use the remote for those devices, it will power on and power off the projector. Now you do have a screensaver and then you can go into the system settings. And in this area, what you're going to find is your software update. You can be able to sideload applications and do those things. Now you also have the ability to see right here, you can switch different inputs. So you can see that you have your input one, your input two, you also can clear the memory and then you can go into looking at the overall weather. So guys, that wraps up our review of the Mars Pro. See you in the next video.